Hello everyone, me Kalpa from Microsoft. Today I'm going to discuss about Azure Cognitive Services. Azure Cognitive Services are cloud-based services that provides us REST APIs and the SDKs in order to implement end-to-end -end artificial intelligence solutions. So today let's talk about custom vision service. So using custom vision service, you can solve image classification problem or object detection problems. Today let's see how we can solve object detection problem using custom vision service. For example, if you have a self-driving car and if you want to capture the objects in front of the car, so we will have to solve object detection problem, right? So today here in the session, I'm going to make use of a very sweet data set, which is fruit detector data set. So we will use fruit data set in order to identify the fruits in any given image. In order to work with custom vision service, at first we will have to create a custom vision service in Azure portal. So let's go ahead and create a custom vision service. So we have your custom vision service. So let's go ahead and create it. So while creating, we'll have to provide certain details like what is the subscription we are making use of and what resource group wherein we want to create this particular resource. We'll have to specify the region wherein we want to create the resource and then let's give a name to it as custom vision demo service. So now that we have given the name, so let's go ahead and select the pricing tier. So let's go ahead and select the free tier over here. And we'll also go ahead and select the prediction tier, which is standard. So here, if you see, we have both selected. So basically we are saying we want two resources, one resource for training our object detection problem and once we are done with the training we can publish our custom vision service using the prediction resource and we make use of the endpoint and the keys to get the prediction so let's go ahead and create our custom vision service now that we have created custom vision service in order to access this particular service we will have to make use of keys and endpoints. So where do you find the keys and endpoints? So if you see over here, as soon as the service is created, you'll be able to see the keys and endpoints section over here. So you get to see your keys, which you can copy by just clicking on copy to clipboard over here. And you can copy the endpoint in order to request, um, send request to this particular service. You will, we will have to have the endpoints so we can go ahead and copy the endpoints over here. Now that we have created the custom vision service and we have understood where we find the keys and endpoints to access a service. So let's go ahead and understand how do we build object detection problem using custom vision service. So for that, we will have to make use of custom vision portal. So this is a custom vision portal that we are making use of. So here, if you see, I have opened custom vision portal. And here today, we are going to solve object detector problem. So let's go ahead and create a new project, which we will call as detect fruit project and then we will also give some description to it so here we'll have to select the custom vision service that we have just created so let's go ahead and select it and we will have to select the project type so here we are solving object detection problem so let's go ahead and select object detection problem and here you can see the domains so basically, these are the neural networks which are already trained by Azure. So we can go ahead and make use of either general networks, neural networks, or neural networks that are trained on logo, products on shelves, as such. So let's go ahead and make use of general network and then create our project. Once the object project is created, we can go ahead and click on add images in order to add all the data set that we have. So once we add the images, we will have to go ahead and label these images manually. 
So let's go and understand how easy it is to do this. So we just have to select the data set, select the object over here and then label it as orange and select this one and then label it as banana. So this way we can go ahead and label all the data sets that we have. So once all the labeling of the data is done, we will be able to see all the labeled data here when we select tagged data. And whatever data, in case if you have any data which is not tagged, you'll be able to find it over here. So once we are done labeling all of the data sets that we have, so we can just go ahead and click on train in order to train our models. So we go ahead and select quick training. If you want to train for longer, longer period of time, you can go ahead and select how many hours you want to train your model so that your model can learn better from these data sets. So as of now, let's go for quick training, which is going to quickly train based on the data set that you have passed in. So once the training is done, it is going to give us the metric scores. So we can see over here, it says precision, precision is around 93.8, recall is around 100% and MAP is around 100%. So it looks like our model is doing pretty much fine. So now that we are happy with the scores that are displayed over here, we can go ahead and publish this particular model. So in order to publish the model, we just have to go ahead and click on the publish icon over here. So let's go ahead and publish our model now. So when we publish the model, it asks us to give a model name, which we are going to use when we call this particular prediction. So this is our, this I'm going to give a model name as iteration two because if you see over here, you can track multiple iterations of the model that you built. As in when you improve your model, you can give different iterations. And whenever you want to predict, you can specify which iteration you want to make use of in order to do the predictions. And then here, this is where we we'll have to select what is the custom vision service that we are using for prediction. Do you remember that we had selected both authoring and prediction custom vision service Hence, both prediction and authoring custom vision service was created for us. So we just have to go ahead and select the prediction resource wherein we want to publish our service. And then we click, click on publish button. So now that our service is published, in order to go ahead and see where exactly our services are published, we need to go over here and click on this particular icon here and settings so this is where we'll be able to see which service that we have used for publishing our model so once we have these details we can go ahead and select it in order to get the endpoints and the keys so let's see how using sdk method we can go ahead and send the request to the custom vision service that we have created. So let's go ahead and copy these keys and copy these endpoints and go to our Visual Studio code, paste these keys and endpoints so that we can call uh, the predict custom vision prediction service by making use of these endpoints and the keys. So here in our code, we are going to paste the endpoints and we are going to paste the key values that we have copied and then we are going to bring in the project ID and the model name. So in order to get the project ID and the model name, let's go over here and click on settings. This is where we are going to find the project ID. And in order to get the iteration name, we can go over here and select the iteration name. So we select all of these details and we paste it in our code. And then we go ahead and get the prediction for the data set that we have. Now that we are done with pasting all of these information in the environment file, let's go ahead and pass in this particular image. This is the image we are going to pass in to our data model that we have just trained using custom vision service 
to see whether our custom vision service is able to identify the fruits in this particular image. So in order to do that, we have written a small snippet of code over here. Let's just see what is the code that we have written. So if you see here in this particular code, we have connected to custom vision prediction client in order to get the prediction. And we are making use of API key credentials to get the key credentials. And then finally, we are making use of these libraries, matplotlib, in order to draw the rectangular box as in when we identify the fruits in the given image. So we connect to our endpoint and the keys, and then we have our project ID and the attribution name. So we make use of API key credentials in order to pass in the keys and then we may create custom vision prediction client. This is where we say this is the endpoint that we want to connect to and I'm an authorized user. Basically, I have the keys. So this is where we are going to pass in the parameters to custom vision prediction client and then say that this is an image that I have in which I want to detect the fruits. And now that we have the image, we can go ahead and get the image and basically pass that image to prediction client dot detect image. So where did we get this prediction client from? This is an custom vision prediction client object. So using that, we are calling the method detect image. And this is where we are passing in. We are saying that this is a project ID wherein I have created my model. And this is a data set which I want to use for prediction purpose. And once it gives us the prediction here in the results section, we now get the coordinates, right? We basically get the top left width and height coordinates using those coordinates of each of the objects that it finds in the image. So here in this case, for each of the fruits that detects uh, that it detects in the image, it's going to give us top left width and height coordinates. So once we get those details, we make use of those coordinates in order to draw a rectangular box around the detected images. So this is pretty much about the code and you can see how simple the code is and how easily we went and implemented our object detection solutions using custom vision service. So now let's go ahead and run this particular function in order to see whether it is giving us appropriate result. So let's go ahead and run this function by calling the test method and it basically runs the model and gives us the result in an output.jpg file. So let's go ahead and see the output.jpg file and you can see over here this is a result from our model. So our model was able to identify the orange with around 99% of confidence score and apple with around 99% of confidence score and orange again. This orange is also identified with around 99% score. So now we can see how accurate our mo model was able to easily identify these uh, fruits very accurately by just making use of few data sets while training. How was that possible? Because already we were making use of general networks from Azure Cognitive uh, from uh, Microsoft and then we trained on top of those networks in order to identify our own data set. So this way we will be able to easily go ahead and implement object detection problems using custom vision service. Just one more thing that you can also train not only using the user interface but you can also train your models using custom vision training client as well so here if you see we can make use of training key and the endpoints of the authoring resource that we had created and we'll have to at first go ahead and create a project id and we can go ahead and create an object of custom vision training client by passing this endpoints and the credentials and finally say uh, uh, the client custom vision client over here to connect to the project ID that we have created and then upload each of the images that you want to be trained 
and if you have any json file tagged json file already with you you can upload the tagged json file and then you can go ahead and train your models using custom vision training client so you can make use of user interface custom vision user interface or else you can also make use of sdks to go ahead and train your models that's pretty much for today's session thank you so much I'll come back again with multiple other Azure Cognitive services so that you can go ahead and build, implement end-to-end -end AI solutions by using these multi-cognitive services. Thanks everyone. Have a good day.